Hey guys. Hey, last time around, we did that DT6 style, that new blank I picked up. Did it in a bluegill, caught some fish with it. So I figured I need some other colors. This time around, we're going to use a wrap. Stick with me. All right, here we go with our basic start here. Createx Opaque White. Whoops, there we go. Bottle's getting empty. I'm going to find some new. Let's give it that white coat all over. All right, there we go. Got enough white on there. Let me clean up and we'll move on to some colors. Now, we're ready to put on our cover that goes underneath the wrap. Now, I know usually you know, black is usually what you tend to put under sometimes. I did one a while back, black and red. So I thought, hey, let's get a little creative on this one. We're going to go pearlized pearl green. So we're going to use green for the color under the wrap. Be sure we get a good even coat all over. Don't forget the nose. All right, there we go. Nice even coat of the pearlized green. Now, before we put the wrap on, the next important part is let's get it good and dry. So we're going to take the heat gun and dry it off good. Okay, we are ready to go with the wrap. I think I'm going to use this wider wrap, or the bigger holes. I shouldn't call it wide. Again, this is a floral ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, during all the virus stuff, a lot of the Hobby Lobbies are closed, and it might be hard to get something like this, but... That's what we're going to do. You can see the colors. I've used it a few times. This is a little stiff, and once you painted it, it's a little stiff. So what I like to do to start with, we're just going to kind of roll it around, scrunch it up a little bit, try to soften it up a little. That way we don't scratch up our paint if we can help that. Sometimes that works some well, and sometimes it doesn't. So, all right, we got our green. Go ahead and put this on. Take that off for a minute. And I'm just going to take the front end. I'm going to pull down hard. Put my clip in there. The tail, it's always got to be bring that tail down. And again, I kind of pull it in hard with my fingers. I try to do this on the camera, but it gets a little tough sometimes. There we go. Tighten that up just a bit. There we go. All right. Got it tightened down pretty good. It's a little loose over the nose, but you know, the head, I don't care quite as much. I might be able to take that and pull that down. See if I can get a clip on that. There we go. That'll hold it down there a little bit. All right. Let's try that. Next thing we got to do, but before we put the colors on, next thing we have to do. We're going to have to paint it white to make sure all our covers are going to show up right. So let me get everything ready for some white paint here. All right, we'll come back with our Createx Opaque White like we put on to start with. Now pay special attention to that belly because it's sometimes hard to get that paint up inside there with those clips in there. So sometimes you got to work a little harder around the belly to get it done. All right, I think that's good enough. Got it white. Let me clean up. We'll move on to our colors now. Okay, we're ready to start with the belly. And that was Createx Transparent Bright Yellow. And that's what we're going to do for the belly. Got that clip kind of in my way, but we'll work around that. We're going to go about halfway up the side of the lure. Maybe even a little more than that because, in this case, the blue will cover the yellow without any problem. Which is why we always start with the light colors on the belly and work our way up to the dark colors. Always remember the biggest key is right up in that belly. That's so hard to get to. That's the one you want to really work on. Alright. I think we got enough yellow. Let me clean up and we'll move on to the blue. Now, for the top, 
Createx Pearlized Pearl Blue. I love, you know, black and chartreuse is probably my favorite color. Well, bluegill, black and chartreuse, and probably blue and chartreuse is right up there with it too. Taking a lot of nice bass with a blue and a chartreuse. So let's bring it over. The nice part is when you're putting the blue over the yellow, you'll actually get a little bit of green. Just hit that blue real lightly. Don't hit it too much down here and you'll find it kind of turning over to a light green color so it's going from a blue to just a little bit of green and then over to your chartreuse. Don't forget the nose. All right, I like that. I think we got that. Good enough. Now let me get the heat gun out. We're going to dry it off real good and then we'll take off the wrap. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Get my clips out of the way. Pull that wrap. There we go. Chartreuse blue with the green. And I'll tell you what, let's, we're going to do one more thing real quick here. Let me get a brush. And we'll just use this paper plate here is good enough. We're going to take the same green we've used. Just going to put a drop there. And now we're going to take our brush here. See where I'm at. I'm going to make sure I get it into the camera. Let's just take this fin. And let's just paint this green. And there we go. Blue and chartreuse. Got a green under wrap. The fin will get some eyes. See where I got the camera here so I can see that for sure. Let's get some eyes in a top coat. We'll see what we got. Well, there we go, guys. There is our DT6 in a blue and chartreuse. Now, all we need to do is take it to the lake, true it up a little, see if it'll catch some fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.